guys, welcome back to my channel. So, popped into Primark the other day, and because I banged on about how good all the jumpers and stuff in Primark were, I think the last haul I did with them, I thought, why not just pick up loads of kind of comfy, cozy um, winter jumpers and just try them on, show them to you guys, let you know what they kind of have in stock, what the sizing's like, and of course, the pricing. I very much feel like we're in winter now. We're definitely in the depths of winter. And for me, this is very much just jeans, boots, jumper weather. So rather than showing you lots of nice pretty dresses and skirts and things like that, um, I would just go back to basics, just show you loads of jumpers. Right, I'm gonna start off with an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, whenever someone says like a cozy, winter jumper, my mind immediately goes to cable knit. So I got this, it's a kind of ivory slash beige colour. I actually really, really like this colour. Um, roll neck, nice, really, really chunky knit. This isn't too tight, this is nice and loose. I've said this so many times, I hate it when it's kind of like suffocating you. Really nice cable knit. It's actually surprisingly soft. Don't jump to conclusions. The quality in Primark is actually way better with certain items than you would think. Uh, lengthwise, it's quite nice and long. I've got like a label sticking in my hair. So I got, I did size up in this. I got this in an extra large because I kind of just wanted it really baggy, nice and comfy. I probably could have gotten away with a smaller size because it is a little bit massive but I just think with all of this kind of stuff like it's however you want it to fit there's no right and wrong way when it comes to jumpers I don't think um so if you want it really big and baggy you know size up it, but you could wear this a lot tighter it doesn't necessarily have to be baggy um but yeah I just thought it was like a really nice chilled weekend comfortable um style jumper again love this color I just think it looks so cozy um oh my god i need to check prices and stuff before i put stuff on right like i said this is an extra large which is an 18 slash 20. i think i'd rather this a little bit smaller so i think i'd probably stick with the large and i think the large would still be big but not not this big um anyway this was 13 pounds one three so I just think for what it is, that is such amazing value. And it definitely doesn't feel like a 13 pound jumper. I'm trying to give you a bit of a close up of all the kind of cable detailing on it as well. You see, maybe a bit better there. Yeah, love it. So when I'm not in jeans and a jumper, I feel like I'm either in jeans or I'm in leggings. So I wanted to pick up one of these kind of half zip jumpers. I actually saw this kind of like just as I was heading to the till and thought this is just something that I would wear so much. So really nice little half zip jumper. I actually sized down on this one because just looking at them on the hanger, and I'm glad I did, just looking at them on the hanger they looked quite big so I got this in a medium which is a 12 to 14 normally I'd get around a size 16 in tops um yeah and I'm glad that I did size down because this is how I would personally like to wear it um I love this little kind of silver detailing the zip oh I mean I wouldn't wear it like that unless I was actually freezing my balls off but yeah, I just love these. I have one of these in a kind of blush pink. I think I got it from Amazon, but that one's a lot more kind of balloony. It's not as flattering. I thought this one fits a lot nicer. It has pockets, but it's one of those like, goes all the way through pocket. But I'm loving that. It's so comfortable. It's not a really thick jumper compared to some of the other ones I'm gonna show you, but just a really nice kind of weekend active wear alternative. This will still look great with jeans, don't get me wrong. 
I mean, I have been converted to flat boots. Anyone who knows me, I, I only ever wear heeled boots. So I got these like flat hiking boots. This would actually look great with just some jeans and some kind of like hiking boots, that kind of more, let's call it outdoorsy chic. Nobody calls it that, but I'm gonna call it that. And yeah, I'm going, I'm going off track here. So it is nice and thin. The inside of this is really, really frigging soft, which I think is really surprising because this is only 10 pounds. And I'm sorry, I love my Amazon one. I do love my Amazon one. And I always say I love shopping at Amazon, but I prefer this over the one I got at Amazon and the one I got in Amazon was more expensive. So I'm just gonna let that sink in guys. Yeah, absolutely loving it. I mean, like I said, I did size down in this. I mean, again, it just depends how you want it to fit. I don't think it matters too much. I like the way that this is fitting. I like that it's a little bit more of a fitted, it's not even fitted, but do you know what I mean? Like not everything has to be massive and oversized. So I already have one that's really oversized. I wanted this to be a bit more true to size. So I'd say that these do come up large if you want it true to size, but if you like that oversized look, just stick with the size that you would normally wear. Also, I'm not even sure if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but I'm really enjoying this kind of panelling as well. Um, so like you have the lines of the pockets there, but you also have this very slight detailing as well, which kind of breaks it up, gives it more of that kind of sporty vibe, which I think is really, really nice. Right, so I saw this one and thought it was a little bit different. So for anyone who is more of an any outy kind of hourglass shape, um, like oversized stuff is sometimes not the most flattering. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wear it anyway because I wear whatever I want, but sometimes it is nice to be able to wear something that's really comfortable, but have it actually kind of be a bit, bit more shaped. So I saw this one, basically, it's a slightly more kind of long line style jumper, but it has this matching kind of belt just to cinch you in in the middle. I think this is something that's quite nice for like work, going out for lunch, something like that. But it just gives you a little bit more shape, but still nice and cozy, nice and comfortable. Um, yeah, what size do I get this in? So I got this in an extra large. Just as a heads up though, when I go to Primark, I said this so many times before, their sizing is all over the place. So I very much just pick, I never try stuff on because I, I hate trying stuff on in changing rooms. That's not just for Primark, that's for everywhere. Um, I'd rather just take it home, try it on at home. If I don't like it, I'll take it back. But with Primark, sometimes you will hold something up and be like, that looks massive for the size it is, or it will look so tiny. So I just try and pick stuff up, look at it. Don't just pick up the size that you normally wear. I would always pick it up, look at it, see if it looks how you would expect it to look size wise. So for example, looking through these, I thought they looked really, really small. So I have sized up in this. Um, yeah, so an extra large is an 18 to 20. This is 13 pounds. Um, as a jumper, this is so nice and soft. So again, this is a slightly thinner style jumper, but still really nice and kind of snuggly. Has a kind of cashmere-y feel, if that makes sense. Obviously it's not cashmere because it's a cheap jumper for Primark, but I hope you get what I mean by that. I really like this colour as well. It's got a really nice kind of depth to it. You can probably just about see that it's got little kind of speckles throughout. I think that makes it look more expensive than it is, than if you just have this in a really, really flat colour. Um, yeah. Again, this is something size wise, like when I undo the belt, it is like, it does have room to it. So I probably could have gotten away with the large, but I just wouldn't want it like really tight. I kind of want it a bit loose and being able to cinch it in. I'm not really a fan of these belts because they just never really stay where you want them to stay. I would probably have rather just had a tie belt and kind of done it that way. Um, 
I, I think that's probably more just personal preference. But I feel like if you tie it, you know it's gonna stay there. Um, and it has these little, little loops to pull it through. So you could wear this by itself, but you'd have those little loops, which I mean, you could easily remove. Um, yeah, yeah it's quite a nice jumper. There's just a few things that I would prefer to be like a little bit different on it. But overall, pretty, pretty cheap. I've seen this jumper everywhere, so I had to get it and try it. Um, another kind of like nice big chunky knit type jumper, but you have this kind of like bobbly detailing. Um, let me push it up. Yeah, so you've got that kind of, I don't know, crochet-esque um, pattern with the bobbles and again on the sleeves they have these they're slightly kind of balloony type sleeves with this kind of like bobble effect stitching and I feel like that makes it look more festive maybe it's just me um when I saw this hung up so because I'd seen this everywhere I just thought I've got to try it on um I, I do think it looks really cool I really liked it on the hanger it looked like it would be really really stiff but it's surprisingly really nice and kind of soft. It's definitely a thicker knit, um, but really nice, cozy winter jumper. So again, I got this in an XL. I did size up. Like, I could have gotten a smaller size, but I do quite like the way this is fitting. Um, colours, so obviously I've got the grey. I think they had it. They had it in an ivory colour, they had it in a blush pinky kind of rose colour, um, and I think they had it in a black as well. I love this colour because I think, especially for kind of Christmas season, this kind of grey looks so nice with a bright red lip and maybe a bit of gold jewellery, something like that. So you can easily kind of dress this up, cosy kind of like evening jumper or daytime jumper, whatever. Um, price wise, this is £15, so I think this is the most expensive one I've tried on so far. Um, but yeah, I still think that is really, really good pricing for what you're getting. It's a nice, it's good quality, it's soft, um, it's quite well finished, a little bit different. I definitely think that is worth the money. And again, I say this so much with Primark. I don't think you'd actually know this was from Primark. If I kind of tested you, gave this jumper to you and got you to guess. I do not think you would guess it was from Primark. Um, but yeah, I do just love the detailing on this. Even the neckline here, I think they finished it off really nicely. And I find myself, I keep on putting my hands in like this because the cuffs come in like that. So it makes it really nice and kind of snuggly. So I feel like I'm kind of walking around in it like this. But yeah, I'm loving it. If this isn't Christmassy, I don't even know what is. Right, not that long ago, I tried on a couple of jumpers from H&M, which was super similar to this. There was one which was an ivory colour and a pink one, I think. And they had this kind of pearly detailing on it. So I thought it'd be interesting to get this one, try it on and kind of compare it, because I didn't actually end up keeping either the ones that I got from H&M. I actually prefer this one, I think. I just think the amount of kind of beading on it is more, um, and it just looks, I don't know, it's more of a statement than the, the ones from H&M were a little bit more kind of scattered and delicate, um, and that's not really my style. Um, yeah, the beads are kind of, these ones are kind of pearly, and then these ones are kind of, um, I mean, I don't think you can see it on camera. They're kind of like a black chromey, like a, a grey chromey mirror effect. So even in the beading itself, there's kind of a lot of depth going on because they're kind of mixed up a little bit. I feel like from a distance they all look the same, but there's definitely two different types of pearly beading stuff going on. Uh, so I like that. I got this in a large um, because I didn't want it... I didn't want this one too big. I wanted this more fitted. And I'd say it's true to size, but I actually would prefer this smaller. Um, I'd prefer this in a medium. 
again I've got no idea how this is meant to be fitting if it's meant to be quite big but as you can see it is it is quite roomy I just think for what I want to wear it with I'd wear it more as a kind of really nice eveningy kind of jumper um, I'd, this would look great with I've got those black coated jeggings that would look so good with that like black boots wearing it out in the evening yeah but for that I just want it a bit more fitted than this so I'd say it's probably true to size but again it just depends how you want it to fit um yeah let me see what the price was on this I think it's 15 pounds oh this is 13 pounds um I can't even remember how much the ones from H&M were but I think they were more expensive um they're likely to be more expensive but 13 pounds is actually really really good i don't know how these are these are attached the same way as the ones from h&m were so they're kind of like press like pressed on um so the likelihood of this lasting a long time is probably not going to but i said the exact same thing about the h&m ones i don't think that's because the primark one is worse quality i think it's equal if not better because the jumper material is a lot thicker um yeah i think side by side comparison i definitely prefer this one um quality is very similar but i just prefer this in general but i think yeah the the beading on it's not going to last that long they're going to easily come off if they just get caught on something they could easily rip off so definitely not an everyday wear jumper but if you want more of a kind of jazzy party jumper <laughs> then yeah, um, I think it's great. I think this came in different colours as well. I think there's definitely a white one and maybe some other ones, I can't quite remember. It was extremely busy when I went into Primark. I stupidly went during lunchtime and it was crazy. So, also I haven't said this yet. The last jumper is my favourite one. I'm, sa I'm definitely saving the best or last. So you have to wait and see that one. Right, just to show that it doesn't have to be all jumpers, I have picked up this really nice chunky cardigan. So I got this in a medium, purely because I didn't have a large and I didn't want it to be ginormous, so I didn't want to get an extra large. Um, so for a medium, depends how big you want it again. I mean, I, I probably would have liked it a little bit more baggy. Um, I feel like because I'm wearing a black top, you can't quite see it very well but look at this it has a hood so anyone who says that they literally want to wear a dressing gown outside this is for you um yeah really nice and comfy it's kind of like a medium thickness not super thin but not really chunky and it is it feels a bit um feels a bit like a blanket like a i don't know how to explain it it's a kind of you probably can't see this at all like that kind of woven cable cable-y and it feels ever so slightly fleecy blankety material so really nice really soft super friggin cozy i have a jump uh cardigan kind of similar to this but i feel like it's more of a kind of autumny or like summer one because the knit is really really loose in it so yeah i want to try this out it has pockets always a fan of pockets I think they're great yeah not really much i can say about it it's just super cozy i mean there's not much shape to it it is just a massive cardigan but nice and cozy i would definitely prefer this in a large though i think this is the kind of thing you can just super size it and wear it really big um yeah nice and cozy i don't think i'd ever wear the hood up though i feel like that's just more for effect right price this is 13 pounds. So again, I feel like everything's kind of a similar price. It's still amazing quality. I still think that's crazy good pricing for what it is. If you're just looking for giant oversized cozy jumper, this is the one. So I got this in a XL. Let me take this off. I feel like it's ruining the aesthetic. So, yeah, they had these on one of those kind of, you know, they have the table things that's layered and they have lots of stuff on there. It was on one of those. It came in quite a few different colours. 
Um, I was oohing and ahhing over this one and there was a really cute blush pink. Um, again, it's a kind of thicker knit, really nice and soft again, super friggin' soft. Just FYI though, when I went in, there was two of those table things close together and the jumpers on each one looked kind of similar. Um, this is the one that I got and then on the other table, um, I went to go pick up one of those and it felt really kind of, you know, fabric just feels a bit like cardboard. So just goes to show that not everything is super soft, good quality, you know, it can be hit and miss. Definitely just feel stuff, pick it up, look at it, get the right size, you know, so yeah. I do actually quite like this colour. Um, I was ooing and ahhing about it because it's ever so slightly got a brownie tinge, but it is really, really nice, really soft. Not really much I can say about it um, because, I mean, it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's not super long. Um, I got this in an extra large, I believe. Yes, and it's 10 pounds. So again, dirt cheap. But I'd say when you size up with these, it doesn't feel like they get that much longer. It feels like they just get wider. Um, I think a large would have been enough. This is quite oversized, a little bit more bulky than I'd want it. But yeah, still a very, very nice jumper. Now I'm gonna show you the final jumper, which is by far my favorite. I cannot even start with this. So I needed a new Christmas jumper. They have so many. If you need a new Christmas jumper, 100% go to Primark. Even look in the guys section, because they have some nice ones in the guys section as well saw this and I just thought this is a bit of me it's got Santa dogs on it if I were a Christmas jumper this would be it how friggin cute is that I fully get this is not everyone's cup of tea and I mean I'm wearing it in more of like a jokey festive kind of way but I brought this home showed Steve and he was just like you are not and I was like yes hun I am this is my Christmas jumper for this year um love it really nice and soft really good quality i yeah i think the stitching on it's really good actually i mean i don't have a pug but they didn't have a dog that looked like rocky so i'm sure he won't be offended got this in an extra large because i just wanted it nice baggy imagine christmas day absolutely stuffed you're not going to want a tight jumper you're going to want a big baggy one so thought extra large it is and yeah, I am loving this. It even has like a little bit of a stand up collar, which I really love as well. And this was, I did look at the label. I've been trying to look at the label, but I keep on forgetting how much the prices are. 12 pounds, 12 pounds for what I think is the sickest Christmas jumper ever. I was actually tempted between this one and they had one in the guy section which was a navy blue, had Christmas lights around it, and on it had the little Toy Story green aliens, you know, the ones that are like, da -da, um, had those on it. It was really, really cute. It was tempted to get that one, but I felt the fabric and it was just, it felt a bit like scratchy. Whereas this one feels really nice and soft. Um, yeah. And this will go really well with my pajama Christmas bottoms because they're like, um, like a light beige colour with red reindeers on it, so also Primark. Right, so that is everything for me today, guys. Um, I hope I've shown quite a good variety of different kind of knitwear and stuff from Primark. It is definitely one of my, one of my go-to places um, just to get really nice kind of big cosy jumpers and stuff. And the prices are ridiculously cheap and quite a lot of stuff is actually really good quality as well uh yeah but if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time bye